here in the i button and in description box below you will get complete playlist of four year series and this is video number the seven and from this video onwards we are going to start second topic of four year series that is functions having points of discontinuity okay under this topic we are going to solve four very important problem and this is the first problem from this topic that is functions having points of discontinuity so let us start this problem one yes the question number one says find the fourier series expansion for the function f of x if f of x is minus pi when the uh, interval is minus pi to zero and f of x is x when the interval is from zero to pi okay before i start this video i would request you to subscribe to my channel and if you learn something from my videos then please hit the like button and do share the playlist of Fourier series with your friends okay in this way you can support me so the question says find the Fourier series expansion here again we need to expand this function f of x okay in Fourier series expansion when f of x equals to minus pi okay here we have function f of x as uh, minus pi when the interval is from okay when the interval is minus pi to zero okay or you can say x when the value of x ranges from minus pi to zero the function becomes minus pi and the value of x ranges from zero to two uh, zero to pi in that case function becomes x okay yes in such case okay when the limit is not continue okay because here we have points points of discontinuity so here the lowest limit is minus pi and the highest limit is pi okay here we have my, uh, minus pi as lowest limit and pi as my highest limit so take this as a and this as b okay so here you can see b minus a what is b that is pi and what is a that is minus pi so pi of pi minus of minus pi that is 2 pi here again you can see the value of b minus a becomes how much 2 pi so we can say the Fourier series okay is given by f of x equals to a naught upon 2 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n cos nx plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity b n into sin nx okay and this is said to be my equation number one and one it what we need to do is simply find the value of a a naught a n b n by the help of euler's formula okay so first we will try to find what is the value of a naught okay yes a naught equals to 1 upon pi integration a to b f of x dx okay yes here the limit is not continue okay yes here you can see when the limit is from minus pi to 0 the function becomes minus pi and when the limit is from 0 to pi the function f of x is x okay here again we need to split this okay that is 1 upon pi is as it is yes from minus pi to pi from minus pi to 0 function is minus pi into dx plus when the limit is from 0 to pi okay integration limit is from 0 to pi in that case function becomes x okay and we need to write here dx fine yes now we'll simply solve this integration so minus sorry 1 upon pi is as it is this minus pi as it is yes integration of dx will become x limit is from minus pi to 0 again here you can see yes integration of x will become x square upon 2 okay limit is from 0 to 2 pi sorry 0 to pi okay so x square upon 2 limit is from 0 to 2 pi sorry 0 to pi <laughs> okay so here 1 upon pi is as it is this minus pi is as it is upper limit minus lower limit upper limit is 0 minus of lower limit that is minus of minus pi okay so 0 plus pi okay here again if you put upper limit this is going to pi square upon 2 if you put lower limit this is going to be 0 okay so yes again multiply this you have 1 upon pi as it is multiply minus pi with pi that is minus of pi square here we have pi square upon 2 with positive sign so simply write pi square upon 2 on solving this you will get a naught okay a naught equals to minus pi upon 2 okay so we can say the value of a naught is how much minus pi upon 2 okay yes i hope this up to this point everything is clear to you now in the same way we will find a n okay in the same way we will find a n so a n equals to 1 upon pi integration a to b f of x cos n x dx okay yes so 1 upon pi is as it is yes when the limit is from minus pi to 0 function is minus pi okay here we have cos of nx into dx plus when the limit is from 0 to pi okay yes integration limit 0 to pi in that case the function is x okay x into cos nx dx now we'll solve this integration okay both integration so here we have 1 upon pi as it is now here we can take this minus pi common okay so integration of cos nx with respect to x will become sine of nx upon n okay 
integration of cos will become sin okay so cos nx will become sin of nx upon n limit is from minus pi to 0 okay now coming to this part here we need to apply chain rule okay here we have x into cos nx so here we need to put uh, apply chain rule this as the first part this as the second part okay yes first function second function you can say so first function as it is integration of second function that is sin nx upon n now first term positive second term would be negative differentiation of this that is one integration of this part that is minus of cos nx upon n here again we have n so n into n that is n square okay limit is from 0 to pi fine now simply put the limits 1 upon pi is as it is here we can take n here that is minus pi upon n here if you put upper limit this is going to be sin 0 minus lower limit that is sin n minus pi here okay now coming to this part if you put upper limit here so this is going to be pi into sin n pi upon n if you put lower limit here because of this n this will become zero okay upper limit minus lower limit now coming to this part okay this negative negative will become positive okay if you put upper limit then this is going to be cos of n pi upon n square okay simply put lower limit that is minus of if this is positive this will be negative okay so this is going to be cos 0 upon n square okay i hope up to this point everything is clear to you now sin 0 is how much 0 this is again 0 this is again 0 so we can say we are left with only two terms okay yes that is this part and this part and we also know that is cos of n pi is how much minus 1 power n what is cos 0 that is 1 okay yes in video number 1 if you go here in the i button you have a playlist of Fourier series in that video series go to video number 1 i have discussed cos n pi equals to minus 1 power n okay yes so here we can write that is 1 upon pi okay into these two terms that is cos n pi that is minus 1 power n upon n square here we have minus minus of 1 upon n square so n square is common so we can say that is minus 1 power n minus 1 okay so yes after multiplying what we get this okay that is minus 1 power n minus 1 upon n square into pi and this is the value for a n okay i hope up to this point everything is clear now we'll find what is b n bn equals to 1 upon pi integration a to b f of x into sin nx dx again yes 1 upon pi integration when the limit is from minus pi to 0 function f of x is minus pi here as it is that is sin nx dx again plus integration when the limit is from 0 to pi the function f of x is x okay x into this part is as it is that is x sin nx into dx now we will apply integration here this is 1 upon pi as it is we are taking minus pi common okay so integration of sine will become minus cos so here we have minus cos nx upon n limit is from minus pi to 0 okay now here we have x into sin nx okay so this is my first function this is my second function okay so we are applying chain rule for integration this is as x okay yes integration of sine will become minus cos that is minus cos nx upon n first term positive second term would be negative differentiation of x will become 1 okay yes again minus is as it is integration of cos is sine okay minus sine is as it is Dif uh, integration of cos is sine okay so sine nx upon n here again we have n so n into n that is that is n square okay the limit is from 0 to pi fine now simply put the limits okay yes here we have 1 upon pi yes negative negative will become positive so write here pi yes if you put the upper limit that is cos of 0 upon n simply put the lower limit if this is positive upper limit positive then lower limit would be negative so this is going to be cos of n minus pi cos n minus pi upon n okay yes now coming to this okay here we have two terms this is my first term and this is my second term first term is okay first term is minus x into cos nx upon n if you put upper limit that is put x equals to pi okay here you are going to get minus of x into minus of pi into cos n pi upon n okay yes if you put the lower limit upper limit negative lower limit would be positive yes due to this, this uh, x only you can say lower limit would be zero okay now come into second term negative negative become positive okay put upper limit okay put upper limit that is a sign of n pi upon n square now upper limit positive lower limit is negative simply put x equal to zero here this is going to be sine zero upon n square okay so here you can say this is zero this is again zero okay because sine n pi is zero sine zero is again zero so here we are left with how many terms yes this is first, second and third. Okay. 
total three terms so solve properly that is one upon pi here we have pi okay yes here again cos 0 what is cos 0 1 okay so here we have 1 upon n here again we can say yes here we have cos n minus pi we know that cos of minus theta is cos theta okay i am saying this once again i am repeating cos of minus theta is cos theta so this is going to be negative this is going to be cos of n pi okay and what is cos of n pi that is minus 1 power n okay yes so this is uh, cos n pi upon n now coming to this part that is minus pi okay this is cos n pi upon n fine yes now if you take n common okay or you can say yes if you open this bracket yes here we have 1 upon pi okay yes we can see here pi and here again we have pi so if you take both part common we can take pi common and here again n is common in all the terms so we can take pi upon n common in all the terms so we have pi upon n so here pi pi get cancel we are left with one and here we have minus of cos n pi here again if you take pi upon n common then here we are left with what cos of n pi okay cos of n pi here again we have cos of n pi so here we have minus 2 cos n pi okay and what is cos n pi that is minus 1 power n so we can say yes here we have 1 upon n 1 upon n 1 minus cos okay n pi that is 1 minus 2 into okay that is minus 1 power n equals to bn this is what this is the value of bn okay we were actually looking to find bn part okay so we have bn equals to 1 upon n into 1 minus 2 into minus 1 power n okay so we have the value of a naught a n and bn so we will go to equation number one okay what is equation number one let us see that once again yes this is my equation number one f of x equals to a naught upon 2 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n cos nx plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity b n into sin nx okay yes what is a naught that is minus pi upon 2 and what is in a n a n is minus 1 power n minus 1 upon n square pi okay and the value of b n is how much 1 upon n into 1 minus 2 into minus 1 power n simply putting all the values here f of x will become yes a naught is equals to minus pi upon 2 and here we have a naught upon 2 so minus pi upon 2 into half will become minus pi upon 4 okay again here summation n equals to 1 to infinity this part is what a n so a n into cos n x a n is how much minus 1 power n minus 1 upon n square into pi okay yes plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity this part is b n into sin n x okay what is uh, b n that is 1 minus 2 into minus 1 power n upon n okay so this f of x is what this is my Fourier series for the function f of x okay thank you so much